Hi guys, my name is Kenny James and welcome back to Kitty Powers Love Life. This is episode two. I loved the game in episode one and I'm definitely going to make this into a series. I haven't played on it since the last episode, so if you haven't seen the episode, I will leave it down below. Obviously go and watch that one first before you watch this and well, let's get started with episode two. So yeah, last episode, Julia and April got engaged. So lovely job, green-eyed. Julia and April are engaged and well on their way to marriage. How exciting. Now they're more comfortable with each other, they might start exhibiting their bad habits. That could mean problems down the line. But don't worry, green-eyed. I'll be here to support you every step of the way. That's good. For now, you continue doing an excellent job and I'll get back to putting my feet up. So that's kind of where we left off last episode and oh 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 let's click that bird so we have a new thing down here this is the kitty shop from here you can purchase new houses and locations you can also buy utilities that help you run your village i feel like we read this kind of at the end of the last episode you'll unlock more things to buy as you get promoted so keep checking back so well, we haven't got many coins at the moment top left of the screen we've only have got like 110 coins I don't think we can, no, no, we can't buy anything at the moment. We need to be setting, like, building this relationship up. But we can't move anybody else in at the moment. So I'm assuming we're just going to have to keep working on their relationship. Oh, in the last hour, April revealed her bad habit of staying up all night. Mm. Oh, I'm basically not bothered that my fiancé, April, is always staying up all night. Okay, so they're not really bothered about that. That's fine. That sounds good to me. Let's kind of just speed it along because it's the night time now. Oh, Friday the 16th of February. Three days to inspection. So probably in this episode, actually, we're going to get inspected, which I don't really know what that is at the moment because we've never been inspe inspected before. But I guess we'll just wait and see what happens with that. Are they going to go off to work? Have they gone to work? Yeah, they have gone to work. Right, they're back from work and oh they need some help so april needs help yeah we'll help her of course we will help her here we go in the house it's so cool it's doing stuff together her huh, babes lovely isn't it it's the way it's meant to be i haven't got a clue what to talk about help me oh okay so release the love eggs let's see we should have maybe tried to remember Oh, last episode. Um, should we talk about social? I can't remember what we know about each other. Darling, I was just wondering, when you, when you go shopping, do you prefer to go alone because it's quicker or go with a friend so you can have a chat? Wow, sis, that's totally deep. Let me think for a sec. I'd pretty much say I'd go with a friend. That's exactly what I'd say. Oh, that's good. So they're a match in that aspect of their personality. It's like way cool that we think the same, isn't it? Yay, so their bar has gone up. Yes, darling, I feel so lucky to be with you. So once their bar goes up to like the second, like number two there, I think maybe do we get married, possibly? So we're engaged at the moment. Maybe we get married when it goes up to there. We'll have to wait and see. We're literally both lucky honey buns. Anywho, let's get right back into eating tiny portions. <laughs> These two love watching eating um tiny portions together. They're so funny. Woohoo! Julie and I are getting on great. Oh, let's see what's going on in the kitty feed. Load seems to be going on. Uh OMG, I love a good workout. April says tidying up the living room is ticked off my list. Phew. Uh, Julia says, what does it mean if I have a dream about elephants? Am I weird? <laughs> no, not at all. So, I guess we just kind of have to wait until they are wanting help or advice. Oh, 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 click on there, get some more coins. Julia has a dream. What does, what does that say? She had a dream. Uh... I have this dream where I'm in a ship at sea in a storm and the ship starts sinking. I wonder if it means anything. Oh, I hate it that my fiancé Julia is always holding the remote control. It's extremely aggravating. <gasps> oh, Julia said I'm like slightly embarrassed about me holding the remote control. Maybe I need therapy. 
In the last hour, Julia revealed her bad habit of hogging the remote control to April, which April hates. Oh dear. Because she was right, these bad habits, now they feel more comfortable with each other, these bad habits are starting to show. Right, Saturday the 17th of February, two days for the inspection. Oh no, it's raining. I think this is the first time I've seen it raining here. Let's speed it along whilst it's the middle of the night. I don't think we're going to need our help in the Oh, they need our help now. Uh, okay, Julia needs our help. What does she need help with now? It's nice to have some quality time together, darling. Oh, because it's the weekend, so we can spend Saturday together. That's nice. Totally is, honey. Super awesome to hold hands together. I basically have no clue what to talk about. Help, like, now. Let's release those love eggs again. And, ooh. Chores, weather, and hairstyle. Should we talk about chores? I feel like that's like a new one that we didn't have in Kitty Powers Matchmaker, or I didn't see it anyway. So let's talk about chores. I don't know whether this is going to be a bad thing to talk about between them, but we'll see. Babe, have you like done any chores today, maybe? Well, no, not yet, to be honest. So anyway, have you done any chores today? Oh, should we lie or tell the truth? I haven't done any chores. Or I've done so well, see as she's not done any. Let's just be truthful and say that we haven't done any either. Yeah. Um, like, no, basically I have not not yet anyway. Suppose we're both as lazy as each other then. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. I hope Julia doesn't keep going on about chores all week. <laughs> oh well, I suppose we should carry on holding hands. Sure, why not? I suppose talking about chores was not necessarily gonna be a good thing. I don't know, maybe it's a bad choice. I'm like, not sure what just happened there. I don't think we got any more bar in our, like, gain in our love bar thing. April is, like, complaining again about this whole remote control situation. Oh, help is needed at the, um, wellness centre. Julia needs our help. I don't think we've been into the wellness centre yet. That I can remember, eh? No, I'm pretty sure we didn't. Oh, no, we haven't been here before. Oh, hello there. I don't believe we've met before. My name's Destiny. I'm the senior therapist. Hiya, Destiny. My name's basically Julia. So stoked to meet you. Anyway, I'm always here at the Wellness Centre just in case anyone ever needs help. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, that lady just dropped a bank vault key. Oh my goodness, a bank vault key. Oh dear, I didn't get a good look at her because she was facing away from me. I didn't get a look at it either. We're going to have to... Say who it is, aren't we? I'm pretty sure that's going to be the deal. And oh, Let's see. You didn't happen to see what she looked like, did you? Yes, I totally did. I got a really good look, Rudy. I see. Wow. Well, I see. Well, whilst it's still fresh in your mind, can you give me a quick description? Sure, no problem. My memory is, like, totally photographical. Easy? Oh, it says this is easy. Okay. I hope you've got a memory for faces because Destiny needs your help. Remember the features of the mystery person to help Destiny track them down. I feel like she had brown hair. That colour, but I have no idea what she was wearing. Oh, I'm gonna go, maybe, I feel like she had long, I can't, I just, I, I, rare, actually, I just can't remember. Let's Let's try that one. No. I feel like I thought she had a towel on, so maybe that would be... Maybe that would be the more appropriate one if I thought she had a towel on. Let's try that one. Oh, fail. Oh, it was the best stop, the one I was going to go for. Damn. Oh, well, never mind. No, it doesn't ring any bells, I'm afraid. Oh, no, the love meter has gone down. Well, I'm like, sorry, but I literally have no clue. I'll just have to put this bank vault key in the pile with all the others. Whoever it belongs to may come back and claim it one day. You never know. Oh, we messed that up. Duh, like... Duh! Oh, why did I completely forget what they looked like? Oh dear, never mind. We failed at that one. But there's always next time somebody needs help, hopefully. We won't fail at the next one. Oh, people are, are unhappy. Can we get them to do things? Um, we can, like, change their schedule, can't we? Oh, okay. 
I didn't know we had could get all of this up. Advice, problem, schedule. Can we like give her some? I don't think we can. Okay, no, we can't. Invite. Oh, we can just invite her for. Let's invite her for an appointment and just see. I don't know what the point of inviting someone. Oh, I've just been perusing your kitty box and noticed that one of the residents has a problem. Take a look. Oh no, it's April. When a resident has a problem, they'll start to worry. Interrupting their schedule and making them miserable. You've got to sort it out, Greenoid. Uh-oh. Problems are unknown until you speak to them in the office hot seat. Invite April to help her out. Who did I just invite? Did I not just invite April? I don't think I did. I have to wait until tomorrow. Let's replace doing... I mean, she should do her exercise, right? So we'll say she should come after her exercise. Gazing out of the window. We'll replace. Maybe I didn't... Oh, hang on. I did invite someone. Maybe I shouldn't have bothered inviting her. Uh, you basically invited me, so I'm literally here. Was there any point in inviting her? I don't know. Let's just... Um, um, hey, Greenoid, thanks for inviting me. Um, what would you like to talk about? Oh, that's all for now. <laughs> There's nothing we could talk to her about. Okay, fair enough. That was a waste of everybody's time, but never mind. Okay, we'll speak to Julia, or whoever it is that's coming tomorrow. Who is it that's coming tomorrow? April? Yeah, it's April who's coming. She has an unknown problem. We will speak to her in the morning. Let's speed it along. <laughs> Sunday, the 18th of Feb, 24 hours to inspection. Do, do, do. Okay, so she's coming to see us. What time was it? Like 11 o'clock or 10 o'clock after her exercises, wasn't it? She was coming to see us. Oh, uh-oh. Okay. Julia needs our help. It's all going wrong. It's great to finally get some quality time together, isn't it, honey? Totes. I can't think of anything I'd rather be doing right now. I basically have like no clue what to talk about. Help, like now. Okay, let's spin the love eggs again. So we don't want to talk about chores. It's boring. Um, should we talk about Horace? Uh, mm. <laughs> let's. What about food? Let's talk about food. See if they are on the same wavelength when it comes to food. I was kind of wondering what your favourite type of food was. My favourite kind of food? Mm, let me think. Well, I'm really into Spanish food at the moment. You know Spanish food, don't you? Oh, which is the Spanish dish? So, chorizo, chuck and veg pie, chuan bay yang fei, or insalata tortellini. I've got to say chorizo is the Spanish dish. Like, chorizo. Yay, that's right. Chorizo is Spanish food. That didn't go up very much, did it, that little love bar? Food is like really cool, huh? Yes, darling, everybody has to eat. The standard of conversation around here is going downhill fast. Oh no! Oh well, I suppose we should just carry on eating tiny portions. She's really going off. I can't remember who's who, which one's Julia and... Ooh. Right, let me get to grips with who's who. I'm like not sure what just happened there. Right. Is Julia, I can't even remember the other one's name. What is it? Julia and, let me go into the kitty feed. Julia and April. Okay, so Julia has the flower in her hair. Okay. I think April is kind of going off Julia a little bit, it seems. That's not good. Oh, wait, right, it's 10 o'clock. She's coming over. Kitty Towers. Let's choose her. Get her in the hot seat. I've got a problem I'd like to talk about. Okay, April. We can try and solve that for you. Hi, Green Eyed. Thanks for inviting me. Oh, I'd like to... Let's talk about your problems. Yes, I've got one problem that you haven't even diagnosed yet. Uh, okay, one unknown problem. So, April, what's your biggest unknown problem? Well, Green Eyed, I'm not really sure how to put it. Oh, this tricky customer needs help getting to the root of their problems. So you'll have to tease out of them by asking questions. Use information from their kitty feed and profile to work out what their biggest unknown problem is. So the whole kitty feed probably is quite important to be keeping an eye on what's going on, I would imagine, from here. So 
Can we look at this pretty feed? So, a problem with you or with your partner? Um, I was doing lunges, but I'm a bit worried about stuff. I've got things on my mind, but doesn't everyone? Um, I feel like it's to do with herself. Like she doesn't seem to really be moaning about. Oh, she does hate it that Julia. Mm, I'm gonna say. I think it's a problem with herself, a personal problem. I think. Oh no, no, I'd say it was more of a problem with my partner, Julia. Uh oh. Is it a problem with her behaviour, her personality, or her appearance? I'm going to say her behaviour because this whole remote control thing I think is maybe a bit of a big issue for her. Yes, that's right. Okay, so it's a problem with her behaviour. Is it a problem with her doing the chores, your intimate time together, food she serves you, her bad habit, or, or her mm. occupation? I've got to say it's her bad habit. Would you not say like the, it, the whole remote control thing seems to be... Yes, that's exactly it. Okay, I'm so glad that I got that off my chest. I feel a bit better now. So what can we do about it? Oh, okay, so now you've got to decide what to do. The actions you have available depend on the type of problem and what you have in your village. Oh, this is cool. Sometimes you won't be able to take the perfect course of action, but as long as you advise them to do something, it will stop the client from worrying about the problem. Choose an action to find out more information. So we can only, uh, the options that we have are we can just leave it or we can schedule hypnotherapy yeah. for Julia. Uh, okay, when will be the best time for Julia to come and see you? Oh, book April's partner Julia in for some hypnotherapy. Um, should we... Let's go, uh, right, hypnotherapy work. So I think today, we should do it today at four o'clock when she's going to be staring vacantly into space. Yes. Great. I'll make sure she's here on time then. Oh, okay. So she's gone from like a red exclamation mark to an orange one. Um, what would you like to talk about? Should we talk about her problem? Oh, you've already given me advice. Okay. We don't need to. We have no other problems. So that's all for now. Okay. I better be off then. Thanks, being eyed. The mopping the floor is done and oh we have a problem over at the wellness center julia needs our help oh my goodness i can't imagine i was like kind of thinking there's not much to do but then actually we've only got one couple oh. imagine if you've got a, quite a few couples living in your town there'll always be stuff to be doing okay so hey hey destiny i'm like here just having a look around so i decided to come and say hi <laughs> julia my favorite customer Having you here at the Wellness Centre is always a cause for celebration. Oh yes, we've got a new therapist. Would you like her to give you a treatment? She specialises in aura purification therapy. It works wonders apparently. And seeing as she's new, I'll do you a discount. Only 20 coins. Ooh, aura purification therapy. What are you like thinking, green -eyed? Oh, ooh, you can boost Julia's mood if you're willing to pay the mm. price. Oh, so this is her mood? But don't waste your money if she's already feeling fabulous. So I don't think she is feeling fabulous, to be honest. So let's just get the treatment. Lovely. Just get undressed and slip into the robe provided. The therapist will be with you in a couple of minutes. Enjoy. After the treatment. Hopefully she's feeling wonderful now. Oh, yeah, she looks all smiles. That didn't go up hardly any for 20 coins. I'm a bit disappointed with that. Mm. <laughs> OMG, all the purification therapist is like amazeballs. That therapist is majorly talented. Yes, we're very lucky to have her, actually. She's one of the most highly regarded therapists in the country. Anyway, moustache, I've got a wellness sensor to run, you know. All the purification therapy was incredible. I feel awesome. Well, I'm glad she feels better, although I don't think it increased the bar level as much as I wanted it to. But it is nearly time for, what's it, two o'clock when, um, mm -hmm. when we were going to see mm. Julia? Was it Julia we were seeing? I can't remember. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Oh, here's time. It's now time for the appointment. So, yeah, it's Julia. I'm basically here for, for my hypnotherapy. I'm quite curious to see what this whole hypnotherapy thing is going to be. Hey, Greenard, thanks for inviting me. Um, are you ready for hypnotherapy? 
Uh, yeah, I don't think my habit of hugging the remote control is going down too well. <laughs> All right, Julia, let's get started at the very beginning. Just close your eyes. We're going to explore the most mysterious thing in the universe, your mind. Um, okies. Oh, this is supposed to be easy. Okay, Julia just needs your expertise to help her kick her bad habit. You have a selection of random, you have a selection of symbols to choose from. Try a random combination to get started and then press the submit button. Julia will tell you how they feel about the symbols. If it turns green, then the symbol is in the correct place. If the symbol turns yellow, then the symbol is correct, but it's in the wrong position. Move it somewhere. Me and Stephen play this game when we're like traveling or somewhere. Like, we have, um, we do it with numbers. I like this game. If the symbol turns red, then it is incorrect. Don't use it again. Okay, so find a combination to interpret oh. the visions. How do we like? How? What, what am I supposed to do? Just click on. Oh, okay. Okay, that makes sense. We just click on this. So let's go. Let's try dragon sun. How cool would it be if I did it right just the first time? I'm assuming like when I when me and Stephen play, it, you can only do one of the symbols. I assume that's how this is gonna work. Just let your imagination run, run wild and tell me what you see. Um, I can basically say, kind of looks like a dragon. Is it the sun? It's literally a river, but it's full of piranhas and they're biting me out. Okay, so that tells us that there is a dragon and a sun, but they're in the wrong place and there's no river. Okay, we can get this. So, let's try. If there's no river... And there must be a mountain. Let's try mountain, dragon, sun. See if that works. Let your mind be still. What can you see? Um, I can basically see kind of a mountain. Kind of looks like a dragon. Oh, it's like the sun. Okay, so all of them are right, but in the wrong order. So... The dragon must be over here and the sun must be over here, right? Because they've been in all the other places. And then that must be the mountain. I'm sure this is right. I don't feel like this is easy, to be honest. Um, um so I can basically say... Ooh, I'm catching some rays. It's like I'm being on holiday in my mind. I'm sitting on top of a mountain. It's an incredible view from up here. Oh, a dragon. His mystical power is flowing through me. Awesome. We did it. You now feel compelled to stop hogging the remote control. OMG, it's like you're peering right into my mind or something. It worked. Awesome. I basically feel much better after that. I literally don't feel like hogging the remote control anymore. For like, the time being anyway. That's all for now. So we solved the little problem of the bad habits. I'm happy with that. That was cool, I like that. Oh, well, let's have a little look at the kitty. Does it pause? I think it pauses, yeah, it pauses when, um, when we go into the kitty feed. And I want to get to where we have an inspection. OMG, my fiance, oh, hang on. OMG, my fiance April's hairstyle is literally legendary. That's good. I am glad that she likes the hairstyle. I had this weird dream where I looked into the mirror. Mm. Julia seems, or not Julia, but April. Doesn't seem as into this relationship as Julia does, I don't think. April is just quite miserable. Mm. Oh, hang on. April was, uh, it's fantastic that my fiance Julia is into tracksuits. Okay, so we should remember that, like, talk about mm. outfits maybe would be a good thing to talk about. Not much fun bumbling around, but there's nothing better to do. Oh, it would be amazing if... It would be amazing if I could spend more intimate time with my fiancé, April. Oh, kind of missing it. Could really do with some more intimate time with fiancé, Julia. I feel a bit unloved. So they both want some intimate time. Why don't they have some intimate time then? How do we get them to have intimate time together? Oh, it's end of the week. Kitty's here. Look busy. <laughs> Are we going to get, this is our inspection, I think, yes, we get inspected at the end of each week. Here's Kitty! 
She's so cool. Well, that's your first week finished. Let's find out how you did. How did we do? Oh, house went. We got 35 coins. Oh, Julia. From Julia. Yeah, okay. Ooh, it's so going. I don't know what's going on. But I feel like we did pretty well, right? Oh, we got 138 coins. Nice. Five points in our reputation. Julia and April are now engaged. I bet they'll be getting married soon. That was a good inspection. Right. 138. So we actually do get quite a few coins each week. Oh, and it's going into the next week. So I think I am going to go ahead and end this episode here. I need to figure out how we get them to spend some quality time together, April and Julia, because they both want it. I don't know how to do it. But uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget there is a link down below in the description to this game if you would like it. And give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Click the bell to get notifications of when I upload a new video. I will see you soon for a new video. Bye!